Now, unless you're an insatiable pop music fanatic, you might think there are more than enough radio stations already banging this stuff out, what with Radio 1 and local radio and commercial radio, radio on the way. But on Sundays in Greater Manchester, there's yet another station to listen to. It's Radio Aquarius, a non-commercial pirate station broadcasting from the moors one jump ahead of the GPO detectors. <laughs> Chris and Pete and Stewart, I can see the thrill of sitting here waiting to be arrested by the GPO men in the detective van, but what are the other charms of it? Why do you bother coming out here in a windy moor and transmitting? Well, it's really to provide an alternative radio for the people to listen to, because ever since August the 15th, 1967, when the Marine Offences Bill became law, all the offshore radio stations uh, were closed down and the people in England had no alternative to listen to except Radio 1, which was a pity poor replacement for them. So we just come up here to provide just that, an alternative for them to listen to. But in what way are you going to be an alternative? In what way are you really different from what already exists on radio? Well, we play records that are banned by uh, the BBC, Judge Dredd, things like that. Um, we play progressive music, which there isn't much of on the radio at the moment. And pop, of course, which there isn't. We're starting a soul program for people who like soul because there's not much of that on the radio at the moment either. So we reckon we, if we could be on the air longer, I mean, if we could be on the air, say, 12 hours a day, there'd be poetry, new, sort of drama, things like that. Uh, a complete sort of alternative to the BBC. How much of a risk are you, in fact, taking? What, what are the penalties for this sort of thing? Well, we can get up to a £400, uh, 400 pound fine and three months inside, but it never really kind of goes that far. Uh, the most is about 200 quid. Uh, for a first offence, and that's probably what we get done. How scared are you of being caught one of these Sundays? Well, I've never actually seen the GPO myself, and I'm not too sure, but we do get a few scares now and then, seeing people walking about, and when that happens, I get pretty worried and start shaking. But if they did come, I reckon <laughs> I'd sort of fall down in a heap in a shaking just about. I'm, I mean, it's quite terrifying. I mean, 400 quid is quite a lot, and I haven't got that much. So I get pretty scared when I see anything. What precautions do you take against being caught? Well, we have uh, a number of lookouts with uh, walkie-talkies and other methods of communication. We're positioned about a mile away from the transmitter, and if they see uh, any of the authorities coming, the GPO, police, they warn us straight away, we turn it off and get out of the place quick. Can I ask you this? If it was perfectly legal to do this, would you still do it? <laughs> if it was legal, there wouldn't be any need for us to do it, really, because there'd be commercial stations up and down the country, like in the, the States. But what I mean, is it the, the joys of doing something illegal that attracts Oh, no, no, it's, it's because we're, we're fighting for free radio, for truly independent broadcasting. It strikes me that all the post office really needs to do is to find a DJ with an accent from somewhere between Carnaby Street, Chicago and Ramsbottom, and they've made it. Back with Piccadilly Main News. Now the story of the pirate radio station, which cost the authorities a thousand pounds to put off the air. Chris Breyer reports. The station was called Radio Aquarius and it transmitted pop music from the woods of Disley's Lime Park, from a hill in the Pennines and from a car in the suburbs of Manchester. In court at Ashton under Line, Mr Richard Howells, who prosecuted, said it cost a thousand pounds to put the station off the air. Six young men were accused of being involved in running the illicit station. The defence said that all six, in their late teens and early twenties, were enthusiastic but misguided radio hams with no personal motives. He claimed they'd chosen their wavelength very carefully to avoid interference with legitimate broadcasts and meant no harm to anyone. One man was fined £150, two were fined £100, two more £75 and the sixth £50. The magistrates ordered the confiscation of all their equipment, some of which was found hidden under a bush in Lime Park. That report from Chris Breyer. Magistrates at Ashton Underline in Lancashire were told today that it had cost the authorities a thousand pounds to get a pop pirate radio station off the air. Mr Richard Halse, who was prosecuting for the Home Secretary, said that the problem was expensive because transmissions were put out from Lime Park at Disley in Cheshire, the moorland above Mossley, 
and from a car in the Manchester suburb of Withenshaw. Now, six men from Greater Manchester were accused of illegal broadcasting. And the men were fined a total of £550 and all their equipment is to be confiscated. I feel wonderful about it. It's, it's terrific. Broadcasting from Manchester to England and Europe, this is Radio Aquarius. Radio Aquarius would like a reception report from you. Please send your reception reports to Radio Aquarius, Aquarius House, Albion Street, that's A-L-B-I-O-N, Albion Street, Manchester One, and that's in England. Get into Aquarius, the devastation concept. 